hello guys welcome to dtwg the prep welcome so in today's video i'm going to be treating uh our factorization of um, quadratic equations that's how to factorize quadratic equations and we have these four questions here okay and i see that um most students even students i uh tutor personally um they find it difficult quadratic equations is always a problem so what i try to do is uh we try to do a lot of examples okay you know uh there are two parts there's a simple part where this x square here doesn't have a coefficient it's quite easy to do this but when it now has a coefficient it gets tricky and uh, more, uh a bit difficult but i will try to break this down in this video okay and i'm also going to do a video on how you can use your calculator to solve um quadratic equation that's to factorize get your factors okay i'll do a video on that too to also help you in your um study and in your test okay and uh I think I've done some of, the, I treated some of this question in, uh, there's a video on the channel called the 30 most difficult um, GED questions solved. You can check that video. I'll also leave the link in the video descri description box of this video. Then, uh, what else, what else should, uh, my, okay, yes. And uh, please, please, please uh, do subscribe, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also you can check um, this site here. It has um, a good resource for, your social studies and science you know the summaries for each topic complete okay so you could check that out to help you out study for your science and social studies and uh, there's a facebook group which you can join okay we're over 2000 members now you can join to you know get motiva uh, motiva motivation and uh if you have any questions okay pertaining your state ged how to start you can always drop that on the group and um, as a community to support you and uh, finally i also do one-on-one -on -one tutoring if you're interested uh, math tutoring science tutoring if you're interested you can um, send me a message or yeah i'll drop my email or you can if you um, join the facebook group you see me as the admin there you can private message me and we'll take it up from there okay so let's um quickly solve these questions here all right so um the first one says this x square you know where to factorize okay i didn't want to say for um, you know repeat factorize 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 so we have to factorize all this that's getting the factors of this quadratic equation so the first question says i uh, factorize this so we have x square minus so let me just rule this line here we'll solve everything one by one here okay please please don't forget to subscribe and also share this video and give this video a thumbs up okay sorry sorry i'm dropping that to distract but okay let's go forward now so we have x square minus 7x equal to minus 42 so here the first thing you do is you know this is a quadratic equation if they tell you factorize just equate to zero okay so let's take this minus 42 to this side and equate um, put when you take it here what is left here will be a zero okay so taking a minus and remember in equations taking a negative sign to the other side it becomes what a positive or another way is you just subtract you know you add uh, uh you add 42 to both sides okay when you add 42 here plus 42 the 42 this becomes zero and you add 42 here plus 42 and we have x square minus 17 x plus 42 equal to zero um me uh for me i always teach my students the best way if if you cause sometimes this can you, you usually confuse students i always see that the best way is if you're taking a, a negative number to the other side it just changes to the positive so that's quite fast and easy okay but let's go forward so from here now the, the next step we do what to factorize this open two brackets okay this part this part without a, a number here is quite easy so open two brackets put your x here put your x here now the next thing we do is 42 we look at this plus 42 here so plus 42 we now find what are the factors of 42 okay let's get the factors of 42 okay factors of 42 is uh one uh two 
uh what 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 are the factors of 42 i think seven right okay seven is a factor 42 uh, six okay well i'm going to say six first because six times seven is 42 okay six seven uh what else what else is a factor of 42 i think uh 14 so we write 14 we miss three three is also a factor of 42 so uh let's put a three up here and just you know oh hold on let's rewrite this so we have one two three okay and uh we have six we have seven we have 14 and uh, i think the final one should be 21 then okay so these are the factors of 42 okay one two three four uh one two three six seven fourteen and twenty one now you now ask what two numbers all right what two numbers here can we add or subtract that would give us minus 17 this minus 17 here the coefficient of x here okay this minus 17 we have here so what two factors of 42 can we add or subtract to give us minus 17 all right and those two factors we must uh, must multiply to give you what 40 positive 42 okay uh, stay close okay don't don't get confused here just stay close with me thank god we have several examples to treat here okay so we have uh, if we look look closely here if we say six and seven six and seven if we add them up it's going to give us 13 it's never going to, it's not going to give us 17 i think the best bet is to use a 14 and 3 okay and so how do we add or subtract 14 and 3 that would give us a negative 17 okay it is what a negative 3 and a negative 17 uh, sorry and a negative 14 negative 3 negative 14 is going to give you what a negative what 17 okay if you're having problems with um, your sign numbers how to add or subtract sign numbers um, i've done a video on the channel i'll leave the link to the video des description box okay in the video description box you could check that video out to understand sign numbers okay it's very very critical in fact the first thing i teach uh my students i tutor in algebra is you must understand your sign numbers if not they're going to affect you in your algebra throughout you have to know your sign numbers in your polynomials in your uh, pandas everywhere you have to know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide sign numbers. It's very critical. And if you're having problems with that, you can also use your calculator. I'm also going to do a video on, I think I've done, have I done that yet? Uh, I'm also going to do a video on how to use your calculator to get your, you know, your sign numbers, how to do that with your calculator easily if you're having problems with this. But it's best you know it by just solving without your calculator. Okay? So these two numbers, all right? minus 3 minus 14 is going to give us a negative 17 and when we multiply these two numbers minus 3 times minus 14 is going to give us what a positive 42 so these two factors are the best for us to use so here you just bring these two factors you bring the first one minus 3 you put it here minus 3 then the second factor was minus 14 so we have minus 14 here so our two factors of this quadratic equation is what minus 3 uh, x minus 3 and x minus 14 okay so now in some cases now the question will go further to ask you your values for x okay your values for x not just the factors you know these are the factors all right these two x minus 3 and x minus 14 are the factors of this quadratic equation now if they ask you the values for x so what you do is you equate both factors to zero so you say x minus 3 equal to 0 and x minus 14 equal to 0 so here you take minus 3 to this side you have x to be equal to what a positive 3 then here x taking minus 14 to this side or adding 14 to both sides here or adding 3 to both sides okay is equal to what a positive what 14 so these are the values of what x all right that's if the question asks you to solve for x if the question is it just says factorize this then this is your answer 
okay these two these two are the factors but when it says x uh, solve for x then you equate to zero equate to zero then solve for x so these are the two values of what x all right so let's do the next example now let me clear the screen Okay, next question says x squared plus 8x equal to 20. So we uh, we subtract 20 from both sides or we just take 20 here. So we have x squared plus 8x minus 20. Taking a positive 20 to this side becomes a negative 20 equal to what? Zero. Okay, so here, um, what are the factors of 20? Let's get the factors. This is minus. Don't forget the sign in front of 20. This is minus what 20. So the factors of uh, 20 is what 1, 2, uh, 4, 5. You know, when I say factors of 20, uh, uh, they are the numbers that uh, when you divide by 20 by, it's, there will be no remainder. Okay. When you do 2 divided by 20, you get 10. There's no remainder. 4 divided by 20, you get 5. 5 divided by 20, you get 4. No remainder. Okay. So after 5, then we have 10. Then uh, then final 20. Okay, 20 divided by 20 is what? 1. So, what two factors here now, okay, that we can add or subtract to give us a positive 8? Alright, remember, open up our two brackets equal to 0. Put your x here, put your x here. So, from here, I think the best bet is to use 2 and 10. Alright, we can use, this is a positive 8, so we use a negative 2 and a positive what 10 all right our negative 2 positive 10 is going to give us what a positive what 8 and when we multiply this negative 2 you must test this you must test the multiplication of two factors to give you a negative 20 that's when your factor is completely correct your factors are completely correct to use so times positive 10 when you multiply this it gives you what a negative 20 negative 2 times a positive 10 is negative or 20 so these two factors are correct to use all right so from here we put here our first factor as negative 2 and our final factor as a positive or 10 so this is the two factors okay for this quadratic equation as i said earlier on if your question asks you to solve for x what you do is you do x minus 2 equal to 0 and x plus 10 equal to 0. So where minus 2 comes here, this is a minus, minus 2 goes to the other side, it becomes what? A positive 2. And x positive 10 goes to the other side, it becomes what? A negative 10. So your solutions for x is what? 2 and negative 10. All right? So this is how you factorize and solve for x if you're asked. All right? So let's go on to now this one, which... I would explain in details here and also I think let me do let me just quickly add a question here because sometimes we um, factors factors can be the same number you can use two numbers as a factor okay let me just quickly do this so you know uh, let me just add this question please this question I didn't add that but I just remembered something that's why I add, I, I'm adding this. So if you're told to factorize this, okay, factorize these equations, you know, and one more thing, sometimes you don't see equal to it. You just see the, the question factorize this. All right. When you're factorizing, just put the equal to what zero. Okay. Because the quadratic equation put it is always uh, the factors. When you put in your factors, it will always be equal to what zero. Okay. When the, that's the, uh, Okay, so here, remember, we put our two brackets here, x, x. Now, what are the factors of 36? That's positive 36. We have 1, we have 2, 3 also, uh, I think 4, yes, 4, uh, 6, uh, 9. Um, what other number, again, can we divide uh, by 36? Okay, uh, 12, yes, 12. Uh what else what else what else 12 i think 18 18 what other number again 
I think that that's it. Uh, 18 then 36. Okay, so these are the factors of what 36 now, and we have minus 12 now. So what two numbers here can we add or subtract to give us a negative 12? You can see it would be quite difficult to get those two numbers. Is that not it? If you do uh, 3 and 4, can never give you a 12. 9 and tw uh, 12 can never give you a 12. Uh, 12 and uh, 18 can never give you a 12. 18 and 16 can never give you a 12. So the best bet is to use 6. So you can use a 6 and a 6. Okay. So that's what I want to emphasize. You can use a factor twice. All right. To give you the solution, um, um, this particular value here, the coefficient of x here. So we can use a negative 6 and a negative 6. Okay. A negative 6 and a negative 6. That's negative 6, negative 6. I will give you what a negative 12 and when you multiply this to confirm that this factor is correct we we'll do a negative 6 times a negative 6 and that will give us what a positive 36 so this factor is correct so here we just put a negative 6 and a negative 6 okay so this is our answer these are the factors of this quadratic equation all right i just remember this that's why i added this question here and if you're told to for solve for the value of x you just equate both factors to what zero all right minus six equal to zero so x here becomes a positive six x here becomes a positive six so this is the answer all right and and uh i think should i leave this for i think i should just leave this for when i'm solving um you know teaching you how to use your calculator because whichever factor you put in here if you put six as the fa as um, equal to x here when you express all this it's going to give you zero all right that's how you you i'm just going to don't worry i'll teach you the trick just make sure you subscribe so you follow me here and uh, i'll teach you the trick on how you can use your calculator you know that's hard quadratic equation that you always find it so difficult you're going to use your calculator easily to get them your test okay because there are lots of lots and lots of lots of quadratic equations to deal with in your test okay so let's leave that for um the calculator section so let's go to this other ones here Sorry, I'm taking your time. I just want you to understand this well. Okay. Okay. So this now. So we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 15. Okay. So what to factorize this? Now the first step you do, you say 2 times minus 15. 2 times minus 15. That's going to give you a negative or 30. Is that not it? So now, it's this negative 30 that you're going to find the factors for. Okay? So we're going to get the factors of our 30 here. All right? So 30, the factors of 30 is what? 1, 2, 3 is a factor of 30. 5 is a factor of 30. Uh, what else is a factor of 30? 6 is a factor of 30. Um what else after 6 we have 10 is a factor of 30 uh, after 10 we have uh, 15 is a factor of 30 then we have 30 all right so these are the factors of what 30 i hope i've not missed any number here all right so from here now we find which two numbers can we use that would give us this positive 7 which two numbers can we use that would give us a positive 7 okay so let's look at it well so here we have uh, two and five if we say we, let's 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 test this okay i'm going to take a bit of time but it's, i know some the first pick will be let's use a two and five all right but if we use a two and five uh, two plus five okay a positive two and a positive five would give us what a seven a positive seven which is correct but two times five is what 10 it is not 30 it's not negative 30 so this is wrong these two factors is wrong okay now let's pick which other number can give us a 7 3 and 10 good so to get a positive 7 it means we have a negative 3 then a positive or 10 a negative 3 positive 10 is going to give us a positive what 7 all right and a negative 3 times a positive 10 
is going to give us a negative 30. So this factor is correct to use. So from here, we're putting our two factors into here. So we have 2x squared. Start with the biggest, um, the biggest factor here. So we have plus 10x then minus 3x, then minus 15. You can see that plus 10x minus 3x will give you what? This 7x. You can see that this and this would give you this 7x. So here, here we have to now, this is where you need your the knowledge of your GCF. That's your greatest common factor. All right. So you need to get the greatest common factor between 2 and 10x. I hope you know how to do GCF, okay, because it's very key in doing your quadratic equation, especially the one that has a number in front of the x square. It has the coefficient here. So the, common, the greatest common factor between these first two, you look at the first two here, we can bring out 2, 2x, okay? Uh, or let me, let's do it together. The greatest common factor, we have 2x squared. We rule our line. We have 10x. Okay, we can start with 2. 2, you know, in doing greater, uh, common, greatest common factor, the factor that we're going to use must go in 2 and also go in 10. All right? So we can start with 2. 2 in uh, 2 here, we have, that's, you know, that's 2x squared divided by 2. This would cancel. We have here left x squared. Then 2 uh, in 10x divided by 2, that's what, uh, we have left 5 what x, so we have 5x. What can now you ask, what can go in this and go in this? It is x, x is here, x is here, so we write x. x here, x squared divided by x, 1x would cancel, we have left 1x, so we have 1x here, then 5x, x and 5x there, okay, this would cancel, we have left what? Five. Okay, so you can see um, the greatest common factor of this is what 2 times x, which is what 2x. So we bring out 2x here. And what are we left with? We're going to be left with x and 5. Okay, so we have x positive, okay, plus 5. So we have, you know, bring brought out the common, the greatest common factor from 2x squared plus what? Plus 10x. Now the next we do. What is the common factor? This is a minus 3x minus 15. Uh, the greatest common factor of minus 3x minus 15, uh, from here you can see it is just simply 3. So we have a negative 3, all right? You open the bracket. What do we have left? What we're going to have left is, um, this is a negative 3. So we have a negative 3x divided by a negative 3, which is common. It becomes what this negative will cancel out this negative 3 would cancel out 3 we're left with x so we have a x then here we have a negative 15 divided by a negative 3 all right this negative will cancel out this negative and 15 divided by 3 is what 5 so we have a positive what 5 okay so you can see this now from here we, we bring this, since this is common, this is common, these are two factors. All we just need to do is just bring 2x, put it in one uh, uh, parenthesis. So we have 2x, bring this negative 3 here, negative 3, close the parenthesis. Then we have, this is common, you just put 1, x plus 5. So these are our factors of what? This quadratic equation, okay? If you are told to now look for, let me clean this up. If you're not told to solve for x, you remember, you equate to 0. You equate 2x minus 3 equal to 0, and x plus 5 equal to 0, then solve for x. Here, we have 2x, taking this negative 3 here, it becomes a positive 3. Then you divide both sides by 2. So, you divide by 2, this cancels, x is equal to 3 over 2, which is 1 and a half. And here, x will just be equal to what? A negative what? 5. Okay? So this is how you get your factors and solve for the values of what? X. Okay? All right? So um, I think one thing I should also mention is, okay, I think I'm going to do it in this in this one. All right? Let me, let me clean here. I'm going to leave that because I want to show you something. So this is our final question. So the first step I, I tell you is we multiply, 
this 8 times what? Negative 9. So 8 times a negative 9 is going to give us what? A negative 72. So we have, let me bring this down here. So we have a negative what? 72. Okay. So what are the factors of um, negative 72? Okay. So the factors of 72 are what? 1, 2, 3, uh, is 4 a factor? Yes, 4 is a factor. 4. Uh, what else? What else? Is 6 a factor? Yes, 6 is a factor. Um, what else? I think here 8, 9, 12. Uh, I think 18 should be a factor. Yes, 18. Uh, what else would be a factor? 36 and uh, and so some other number okay you can always okay you can always confirm that all right and uh, 36 72 okay so uh, from here now what two numbers can we use that would give us a negative 14 what two factors here can we use that would give us a negative 14 all right so let's check that and test it all right I multiply the two factors it must give us a negative 72 so uh, the best bet here if we say we use 12 and 2 because you know 12 and 2 is is 14 right so we do minus 2 uh, minus 2 minus 12 to give us minus 14 but minus 2 times minus 12 is not going to give us um, 72 it's going to give us a negative 24 so this is wrong so I think the next bet is to use a 14 and 18. So when we do, uh, to get a negative 14, it means we are going to use a positive 4 and a negative 18. That would give us what? A negative 14. Okay, and when we multiply a positive 4 times a negative 18, it's going to give us a negative 72. So this is the correct factors to use, a positive 4 and a negative 18. So we put it here. So we have 8x squared. Um, start with the biggest um, number so we can factorize, uh, you know, easily, do our greatest common factor easily. So we have a negative 18x and a positive 4x, then minus what, 9. You can see that negative 18x positive 14, uh, 4x will give us a negative 14x up here. Okay, so from here, uh, what's common to this and this? What can we bring out? We can bring out a 2, okay, 2x. So let's bring out 2x. So we have 2x brackets. What will be the remainder here? We have, uh, I don't want to go back to this, okay. So we have 8x squared divided by 2x. <clears throat> um, 2 would go here, 1, 2 here, 4. x would cancel out 1x here, and we are left with just 1x, so 4x. So we have 4x minus, um, you know, 18x divided by 2x. That would be 18x over 2x, okay? You know, this should be divided by negative 18x okay but i just dropped the negative because it's going to give a negative because we're dividing by positive already okay so this x will cancel this x and 2 here in 18 will give us what 9 so we have what 9 so you close the parentheses then the next thing is what is common to 4x and minus uh, minus 9 you know now why i i left this space here i want to explain something okay now you should always know when you're factorizing all right using the normal factor uh, you know normal form uh, normal way to factorize a quadratic equations you know um, there are two ways to factorize quadratic equation you either use your uh, you know the quadratic formula all right which is your minus b plus or minus square root 4 4 a square minus uh, this thing, uh, minus c then divided by by 2 a Okay, that's, I think I missed a letter, but you get what I mean. All right, so you either you use the quadratic formula or you use this way. Okay, why you use the quadratic formula are in cases where you can't get an exact factor. Okay, your factors would be like fractions. All right, that's why the quadratic formula is used in some questions, which I'm also going to treat. I'm also going to do a video on quadratic formula and how to do it. Okay, so, but here... Your factors would always be the factor you bring out, the first bracket, 
okay, will always be the same thing as the second bracket you bring out. So whatever sign you see in this first bracket should be the same with the sign you see in the second bracket. Now, just watch. So what is common to this and 4x and minus 9, all right? The greatest common factor here is a 1. You can bring out a 1, all right? So 1 is common here, 1 is common here. So you put down a positive 1 in parentheses. What will be left? A 4x divided by 1 is still a 4x. Then a minus 9 divided by 1 is still what? A minus 9. So this is our factor you can see that your factors would always be the same the ones you the factors you bring out okay would always be what the same so you can have so we have here 4x minus 9 and 4x minus 9 so here what do we do in our first bracket as we did here you put down your 2x then bring your positive one then this is common and you just put in one 4x minus 9 so this are the factors okay and if you're told to find the values of x all you need to do as i said as i've done earlier on just equate to what zero each factor to zero solve for x and that would give you the value of what x okay so um these are the questions i've solved and if you have any other question please feel free drop it in the um, comments below or even on the facebook group you can drop your questions and i will try to you know answer them and the community if even if i'm away you know busy there's a community that would also support you but i will try to answer them for you all right and if you need more questions on quadratic equations how to solve them also let me know in the comment section below and i'll treat more questions all right so thank you thank you for staying tuned i know it's quite a long video and quite so much to take in but you know just um, you can repeat the video you can uh, put it on slow you can also ask your questions all right and uh, I'll, I'll definitely by god's grace be here for you and also uh before we say um you know take care and goodbye don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon uh, give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth he is the life he's the one who's going to give you peace of mind he's the one who is going to deliver you from every struggle every addiction every sin um you're going through right now for his word says in Jude, uh, in fact, in Jude 1, chapter, in chapter 1, verse 23 to 24, the two and the last verses, he said, he's going to keep you from falling. He's going to, you know, he's able, he has a power from keeping you from falling into any temptation. And he's going to, you know, present you faultless before God, you know, uh, when the final judgment day when Christ comes, when we all go to heaven at last, is going to present us faultless, blameless, okay, before his throne. And we thank him, we give him all power, we give him all, we give him all glory, we give him all praise for, for he does great things every day in our lives. So uh, just, you know, just give him, give him a chance into your life and he's going to definitely do everything heal you, deliver you, give you peace of mind, you know, give you health, everything you desire, he's going to do it, all right, so thank you, thank you, all you just need to do, just be patient with him, you know, and always know he's willing to forgive, he's full of mercy, that's what his word says, he's full of mercy, he can, every time you come to him pleading for mercy, he always has mercy for you, so don't, don't let the devil deceive you by saying you're unforgivable, no, forgive yourself and move on, God is full of mercy. He's always going to forgive you of your sin. All right? Okay, so thank you. And uh, see you in our next video. You are destined to win.